you know, we combat that by doing a lot of technique. We combat that by studying the, the psychological side or the technical side of fighting. So it's not so much body work or, or body damage. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of, you know, we're, we're getting damaged. That's what we're in the business of. So for me, I've always just been uh, very conscious of the fact that after I get hurt and I do recovery, I, I get rebalanced. Everything gets sort of fixed again. If I could break a leg... I know that my knee hurts, my hip hurts, my back hurts, my shoulder hurts, my neck hurts. But as soon as my leg feels better, they all feel better. I guess, yeah, I can tell yeah, you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, so I, I started focusing on the rehab part as opposed to just, I'm hurt, what kind of mechanical thing can you do to it? And that really made my, yeah, my yeah. body last longer. Yeah. Make him go over here. I guess what well, my question is, sorry, is when he's in his position, how about yeah. holding it? I want to keep him there. He's, 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 I've got a side pound. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like this. Yeah, and a lot of the guys they climb up and do this. Yeah, really? and I'll try. I'm, I'm, why, what do I have? Do I hold him down? Oh, you want to hold that guy down? Yeah. Well, you can either pin him with your body, which is wedge him, you know, with your head or your shoulder. Yeah. Or you can just come up and leverage on him and be this guy. Yeah, that's you. Because you're going to roll around and do all this stuff. Right? I'm just going to move around and step back and smash it, and then I'm going to move back in and just keep on us. So you're this, you're this guy, which is an angle. So you're this guy. Holding you in this little uh, box. Or holding you in the wall. That's why you can't go inside. Yeah, this guy sucks. Yeah, it didn't happen to hit you. Or I'm this guy, and I'm pushing you into that wall. That's great. Because now you're not going. Every time you do, it takes energy. Yeah. And it's going to make you work. So me, I'm just chilling. And I'm just getting my structure. So every time you push me away and you do work, then I'm just going to come in here where I have power and I can lean on you. Because I'm not doing anything. That's really good. That's horrible. I'm just putting weight on you. Okay. So you just here. And I put my head on the cage and make this nice straight line. I like stay right there. And look at this knee. If the guy tries to roll out, you just drop your knee on his head. I don't know if it's legal or not. It's oh, devastating. Well, I fell on you. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah. It'd be really evil. Like, like I tend to get. You can just stomp on my head. Oh, shut up. And I'll go, ah! <laughs> what was I thinking? What was that? What was in my mind? That's cool. Yeah. So I remember that. So this is your, your, your position. Yeah. And you're trying to get the back straight. What position is that? That's beautiful. This is it. a position. Thank you, Frank, for letting us try and ruin it. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Yeah, certainly did. Yeah. yeah. I'll be using that. Pyramid. Ah, I'm liking that. Yeah, I like smash it. Yeah. It works for wrestling too. Grappling. grappling. I just want to grapple with people and smash him with grappling. Yeah. And you have a wall. So how long have you been here, Frank? How long is this? Here? I've been here for um, a little over two years, like two years and four months. This place. And what, were you always in this area? Or? Uh, I've been in San Jose since 1997. You're quite famous. I mean, we, we, we had a red lobster last night. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we had right. red lobster fish food last night, and um, we, t- we were trying to explain what MMA is. Mm. We were like, come on. But she knew who Frank Shamrock was. Yeah, right. exactly. You don't know what MMA is, but you know who Frank <laughs> Shamrock was. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm more famous in the States and elsewhere. Yeah. Definitely in Japan. Yeah. It's weird. I, I, I got famous in a lot of places. Yeah. Do what I do. It's, it was quite a. It was almost with the balls. It was like playing, being back at play school, yeah. which is good fun. Yeah. Is it always like that? It, it, or it, it gets it, quite a bit. Yeah, it gets quite a bit. Uh, you know, I just I've been doing this a really long time, and um, if it's not fun, if it's not yeah. interactive, if it's not if it's not challenging, or if it's something different, you know, if it's not something different, then it gets boring. So, you know, that was really I was really happy to do yeah. something different. Cause yeah, because it's doing, boring. It's, oh, it's always the same stuff. Um, bar, you know, yeah. And I've been doing it for so long that I know all the stuff about all the stuff, so yeah. it's just boring. Yeah. It's just absolutely boring. Yeah. 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 Coach yeah. you, or do you, do you coach yourself, or do you, where do you learn your new stuff from? For uh, MMA? Um, it, the, the new MMA stuff has been like a, a weird kind of study for me. Like I had a lot. I, I figured out quite a bit of it by 1999. And then past that, it was a lot of me um, understanding what I needed to make myself better by way of styles or techniques. And then 
mm-hmm. getting that information and then making that stuff better. Mm. Um, but like you know, I, I have a lot of teachers. Um, I mean, for like a fight, I can imagine you have yeah. different people you trust. Yeah, like Maurice Smith and yeah, what have you yeah I always bring Maurice down. And I always have my boxing coach there and stuff. But or have um, you got enough good guys here to right? I want these guys to work on this aspect, aspect you know, on the ground, and I have these guys to, to work on the stand up with me. You've got enough good guys here to roll with. Oh yeah. Well, for me, it's it, the guys have never been. The guys having the right people has never been what I really needed. What I've always needed is I know what to do. I know how to fight. I know, I know everything about my body in respect to fighting. I just need people that are going to push me, keep me in shape, make me work on the areas where I know I need to be working on. So, so would you say like? Um, but for the most part, we know what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right. We've been yeah, truthful. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we know. Like, yeah. oh, I should, I should be doing that. Yeah. Um, most people do 70, 80 percent of that. Yeah. Most people, oh, I really should be doing my shadow boxing. Yeah. And then they go right about to doing whatever they were doing before, playing video games, watching yeah. whatever the hell they were doing. Um, I, I'm different. I go, I should be shadow boxing. I, I'll shadow box in my garage for six hours. That's what yeah. I was joking about six with you guys. Hours. I was serious. I was in there for two days yeah. going, that's right. This is, this is the uppercut left hook step over combo. Yeah. Um, yeah. For yeah. me, that was my whole learning weird thing was in my garage I was doing this thing yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. all part of this bigger study I'm studying the art of fighting I know where I, what I need to be doing do you ever go into fight do you feel in um, what's the word you're not invincible or do you always feel like you can never be beaten uh, no no I, 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 I always have a lot of confidence but I, I always know realistically what my body is capable of at least um, you know at some point I even when I broke my arm, I felt it break, and I was like, "God, I broke my arm. That really sucks." Yeah. Um, but in, in does that in, affect your confidence as a an athlete now? Um, like you said, after early, the fact, no. Earlier on, you said at the time. I don't know if I want to use this. To, yeah, you know, at the time, I was like, "Oh, I, I need to change and do something." Tactics, yeah. And that that psychological understanding or recognizing of it, you know, it weighed on me. It made me tired. Made yeah. me think. Yeah. Anytime you're hurt, you get tired because your brain is is. Over here, protecting something instead Absolutely. of instead of just doing. Well, talk about the.